Yes. Yes, yes. We won. We won this precious, precious, precious. We won it. Stupid, filthy mouse. Um, King Baby? The racist. The sexist. Um, King Baby? The homophobe. The transphobe. King Baby? What? What? You didn't win. What? What do you mean we didn't win? Stupid, filthy Myers lost. No, he dropped the suit. Yes, so he wins us. We just talked about his racist ass and how he tells nasty lies about us fucking around with other people's jobses and how he's a closeted homosexual living in Texas of all places. No, no you don't. You signed a non-disclosure agreement. You can't talk about the case at all. What? You can't talk about it at all or you'll violate the NDA. But, but we won't this. No, you didn't. He dropped the case. You didn't win. And now you can't talk about it. But, but, that's not fair. It's not fair, precious. Well, either way, you didn't win, and now you have to keep your mouth shut. So as many people know by now, your boy Zach, the reviewer formerly known as Diversity in Comics, aka Richard Can I Get a What What Meyer, dropped his lawsuit against perpetual douchebag Mark Wade. Back in 2018, DNC filed a lawsuit after Wade contacted the Dunn brothers from Antarctic Press after they announced that they would publish Meyer's book Jawbreakers. Wade got the Dunns to drop the book and then bragged about it online. He also made several public statements about Meyer, claiming the man was a racist, sexist, homophobe, and transphobe without presenting a lick of evidence to back it up. The lawsuit covered those two issues, the tortious interference with the book and the public defamation. This was the first time, as far as I know, that anyone had sued Wade over his antics. He has an extensive history of bullying, harassing, and attacking people, sabotaging careers, and being a massive asshole. The lawsuit is probably the first time Wade has been publicly checked on this level. He recruited lots of support from within the comic book industry, as well as from without, including his crack shot attorney Mark S. Zaid Esquire, super attorney at law. Most of the usual suspects assumed the suit would be thrown out. It wasn't. They assumed Meyer couldn't afford it. He could. They assumed he would quit within a few weeks. He didn't. This case has gone on for over two years, solely because Wade and his legal team kept stalling the case with various motions, trying to change the jurisdiction and other legal maneuvering. The hope from DNC supporters was that he would destroy Wade at trial because the evidence against Wade looked pretty damning. However, there was always a chance that there would be a settlement outside of court or some agreement that would result in your boy Zach dropping the suit, and that appears to be what happened. Some people were disappointed and angry about this, and that's understandable because of how many people supported the suit via the legal defense fund set up for Meyer. That said, people dropping the suit is really common, and Nick Ricada did an excellent breakdown of some of the reasons that might happen. Check out his video for more in-depth legal analysis. The gist is that lawsuits are financially draining, and that both Wade and Meyer have likely spent up to a hundred grand on this thing. Both had legal funds, with Wade getting about eighty-five thousand dollars and DNC getting twice as much, about one hundred forty-five thousand or somewhere near there. Wade said to Bleeding Cool that he spent all his money on legal fees, and with the way that this has been going, he may have been dipping into his own money by now. Meyer had more money to work with, but it's also true that he could have been paying out of pocket too. He told Bleeding Cool that he's waiting for an invoice and that any leftover money from the legal fund will go to charity. If I can make a suggestion, Zach, since I know you watch my videos, donate any extra money to a group like Male Survivor or 1 in 6. These are groups that help male victims of sexual abuse and they could use the support. But setting that aside, the money aspect is an issue, as is a drain of constantly dealing with the case. This wears on people after a while, so it may be the reason for dropping it. It may also be that Wade reached out to settle, or that Meyer got what he wanted out of this. That may seem weird, but consider this. The damages he could get if he won would be less than the legal fees. So unless Wade had to pay those as well, it'd be a shallow victory. Especially since his success after Wade's antics has been so good. Nick Ricada mentioned this. Meyer's case hinged on the financial damage done by Wade's antics. Specifically that he couldn't have a career in comics and that Wade destroyed his name. Well, Jawbreakers made half a million dollars and the follow-up comic campaigns have also done well. He's got a successful business despite everything Wade did. The defamation is still there, people are still spreading it, but it doesn't seem to have a major impact on what he's doing, and this could be used against him in the case. This is something people don't think about with lawsuits, but what you do during the suit can also be used as evidence. 
This is why Wade pulled his Facebook posts after calling me a borderline white supremacist. Doing that showed that when Wade gets mad, he calls people the worst things he can think of knowing full well that it's a false claim. This shows a pattern of behavior and works against him. Like a lot of people, I wanted Wade to have to explain himself in court, which he couldn't do during the discovery phase. He made a complete ass of himself, and a trial would have been an even better display of that. But, when looking at what this would ultimately cost Meyer, it doesn't make sense to keep throwing money at this if he isn't going to recoup the money in the end. He dropped the suit, and we don't know the details why, whether there was a settlement or anything about it. Both parties agreed to essentially a no fault stance and signed NDAs. And for Wade, that's a loss. I know his supporters and his goofy lawyer trying to spin it different, but it's a loss because it takes away the one thing Wade wants to do. Talk. He can't talk about the case. He can't keep claiming DNC is a bigot, but he also can't clear his own name. Meyer can't say anything about the case either, but the rest of us can, and there's nothing Wade can do about it. He defamed Meyer and interfered with his contract with the Antarctic Press. We have the text messages and emails and interviews showing he did it and bragged about it. Not only that, but every time someone looks up Wade's name, this case will come up. And so will all our videos about what he did. It's never going away. So the lesson has been given. If Wade does this again, he can and probably will be sued. And this is a lesson for the other people in the industry. You do the same and you'll be sued. And unlike Wade, no one's going to help you. Meyer, on the other hand, wins. Not in the trial, but in principle. And I know people are going to be upset. But it's like I've been saying for months. Think more than one step ahead. Yes, he dropped the suit. Yes, that's probably what Wade wanted. Two years ago. Wade planned to stall, but not for two and a half years. No one plays that kind of long game. He expected Meyer to quit after a couple of months. No later than the end of 2018. When the suit was still going well into 2019, it was clear that Wade was sick of the process. Look at the motions being filed. They got pettier and more desperate each time. Winning isn't always destroying your enemy. Winning is also outlasting the enemy, wearing them down, making them exhaust all their options, or sometimes just keeping at it until you've made your point. What happened here is like Wade attacked Meyer and then hauled ass, and Meyer pursued him. Wade figured DNC would stop after a couple of miles, but no. After a couple of counties, but no. After a couple of states, but no. After a couple of weeks or months, but no. Every time Wade thought Meyer was gone, DNC would pop up on the corner with a chalupa and coke coughing under his breath. Now that Wade is paranoid, the point has been made. He thought he'd get away with it, and he didn't. He thought he could bully Meyer into silence, and he couldn't. He thought Meyer would quit when he told him to, and he didn't. It didn't end when Wade said so, it ended when Meyer said so, and that's a win in my book. I'm sure Wade will try this again with someone else, but I bet he's going to be careful about who he targets for a while. He's not just going to pop off like he's done before. Ultimately, that works in everyone's favor, so I'm not upset about the decision to drop the suit. And you never know. Wade has a hard time keeping his mouth shut, so he may say something that breaks the NDA and all that shit comes out. Please, Wade, spill the beans the same way Zade spills his seat when he thinks about all the shit R. Kelly got to do. But what do I know? I'm just some guy.